All right, so I'm gonna go over using the program Zering Stacker in order to focus stack some of these images I have. Um, I'm gonna use this one as an example. This is uh, what I believe is Tricholoma fulvum. I found it in North Carolina. You'll see I've got a bunch of images um, and the focus moves from the back to the front. So I'm gonna put them all together in Zering Stacker here. I will open them up. Let's see. And then I'm going to go up here to stack, and it gives you three options. So the first one is Pmax, second one is DMAP. These are two different algorithms the program uses in order to create the focus stack. I always select both, and I'll go over why that is uh, after it finishes processing these. All right, so it finished the first one for Pmax and then for Dmap, what it's going to do, it's going to prompt you to adjust um, all this black that's filling in. So it basically represents uh, the areas that aren't being focused. And usually I'll just do it up to like so it's flush with the outline of the cap and you'll notice it also fills a little bit of the gills in which is fine there probably will be a little bit of loss of focus in these areas but i'll be able to correct that once it's done processing all right so now both are finished so let's see. i have two images a little different. The first one, Pmax, it does have a tendency to create this like black halo surrounding the cap, um, which I don't like. Also, the background isn't as out of focus as I'd like to be, or smooth as I'd like it to be. The D map uh, does have that. The only thing is, like I said earlier, it did bring some parts out of focus. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to edit, start retouching, and then I'm going to pull in Pmax as the one I want to retouch from. I'm going to zoom in in this area that is out of focus and just sort of like paint over it to, so that I bring that quality back in. And I'll kind of scan around to see if there's anything else. Maybe here. Here. Let's see. Right there. And along the side. All right. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit commit retouching. And then I've got a nice final image. Now from here, sometimes I'll bring it into another program in order to edit it further. I might want to like darken the background a little or crop it, but I'm pretty happy with this image. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and hit save output image, save image, save it to where I save it, and then that's it.